Control Windows. Stop recording. Checkbox. Not check. Check. Hello and welcome along to this uh, quick tutorial video where I just wanted to take you through um, a very useful tool um, that I found for Flight Sim X and P3D version 4. And what it allows you to do is to um, have your sim, whatever plane you're flying, wherever you're flying, uh, save itself every so often. Um, so I'm just going to explain a little bit how it works. So we've all been in that position where the sim crashes and you've lost uh, a flight or you know maybe you're doing a flight maybe it's a long haul and you you completely mess up the approach and you can't log it or you know uh, something goes wrong uh, you know the screen reader crashes or you've got to go out there's so many things that it could be um, and it can happen all the time sometimes maybe even you know you just you just need to leave the computer and you don't want to have to leave the flight um, so what this tool allows you to do is um, save your scenario so you you boot up the tool it will come with an FSX and a P3D version and you um, you can go in and you can set how many seconds you want it to save so for example mine's on 600 which means every 10 minutes it'll save my sim um, and then let's say my sim does crash or something crashes or I have to go out I can shut the sim down no problem and then come back to the simulator later on just go and load in the uh, the saved um, flight it will have a you know it'll just say sim saver um, saved flight and it'll tell you when it was when it was last saved you just you load that in and it will reload your plane exactly as it was so you'll be you know if you up at cruise you'll just be sat up at cruise you'll have you know same amount of fuel same payload everything will be exactly the same you know no changes um, and um, you'll you you know you'll just hear things load so you might hear the engines just do a bit of kind of moving around with the throttles as it just gets back to where it was and then all you have to do pretty much is if you're using FS Tramp, which a lot of the BVI community are, is just hit Control F11, which will then ensure that your fly plan and autopilot are on. I think the autopilot will already be on when it reloads the aircraft, but you just have to hit Control F11 to just ensure that, that they're both on. And as soon as you do that, Tramp, and this is the, the, the good thing, that Tramp will remember, it will have the flight plan that you were on loaded in. Um, uh, and it will also have um, it will also um, be able to pick up from where you left off so it's not going to start back at the beginning of the flight plan it'll pick up from wherever you you left off uh, flying to whatever waypoint you were going to so it's really really helpful um, now a few notes uh, about the tool so I'll, I'll actually demo it in a minute it's not great on accessibility it's nothing uh, fantastic but it's usable and that's all we care about um, as long as you can just load the tool up and you might not even want to have it running all the time you might have it running just some of the time or just to do a save you know every every hour or something like this but um, so with if you for example using uh, project fly Project Fly can sort of link in with this because if you close Project Fly down mid flight, for example, you know, okay, you've got to leave the computer, you've got an auto save with Sim Saver, you shut the Sim down, you can just close Project Fly down, just Alt F4 it and hit yes, close it down, and then when you next launch Project Fly, it's going to come up and it'll say, okay, we've detected that you had a flight in progress, do you want to resume the flight? And if you hit yes, you'll be back on the on the flight now take into account that the project fly stats for that flight may be a little bit off um, you know like for example the the departure and landing times because obviously in real life they can't just uh, stop a plane in midair and then just resume it whenever they want but um, it, it's very helpful this way it's also helpful perhaps if you want to um, practice approaches or you do an approach and it goes completely wrong if you do an auto save at say 10,000 feet or something like this if you completely mess up the approach or you do it and it, go it doesn't go well for whatever reason you can relaunch back in at that auto save point and go for the approach again and that's the good thing about it so you you can just you know and everything will just be sort of seamless and just carry on now let me actually show you the tool um, so 
it uses sim connect to actually uh, connect with the sim you just um, it'll come with a folder and in each folder so for example there's an FSX folder in that folder you've got the actual sim saver application and a, a DLL which will connect to sim connect you can leave those folders wherever you want in downloads and just create shortcuts to the application to your desktop as I've done here look sim saver FSX it's called K sim saver but whatever sim saver FSX P3D now when I launch it it's going to start throwing errors I mean you'll hear it pinging reason being that it can't connect to any sim because obviously the sim isn't running but I just want to demo what you do um, it's very simple so if I launch it up here it's gonna launch itself in Welcome a second there we go welcome to sim saver now you can hear it's gonna start pinging at me that's because it's not finding a sim but all you've got here is if we just tab someone labeled button start saving it will automatically have that saving as soon as you launch your sim we've got that now that box is how many seconds you want it to save it's currently on 120 that's the default but I could change this to 600 or whatever and that's a checkbox and another checkbox which if we use object now you can see there's a save settings button and you can see the checkboxes uh, keep multiple files which I'll explain in a minute and start saving automatically let me just alt F4 that so it shuts up so what those two checkboxes meant was keep multiple files means it'll keep multiple auto saves or do you want it to just overwrite the last auto save I have it doing that basically means you know if you have it set to save every 10 minutes the next auto save when it when it happens will overwrite the previous one so you're not going to have loads and loads and loads of auto saves which is probably the best thing to do um, and the other thing was start saving automatically that just means as soon as you boot your sim up it'll start saving now in the actual sim itself so if you are an fsx user you would go to free flight you would go to load and then you can go down the list of flights that are there um, and you'll have the sim saver one the, it'll say sim saver auto save if you're a p3d user i think you just boot it up go to your scenario startup window and you just want to go to load you you can load the scenario and um it will uh, it will have the the sim saver auto save in there. Now the important thing to remember is, of course, you have to hit Control F11 because if you don't, then Tramp won't have the plane under control. Um, but pretty much, it's it's a very good way to do, especially long haul flights um, and and things like that. Uh, and or, or if it's a especially difficult approach, you can always go and try it again. Uh, and everything should remain the same. You shouldn't lose any data. Um, the only the only issue I can see with it is with some for example um, with some virtual airlines they may not like you doing that which is is fair enough um, I guess if you had a, a, a reason for it you know for example if you're a, a BVI pilot and something went wrong because of a screen reader or you know you struggled to do the approach it was a bad landing and you want to go for it again you they might accept that um, but I guess, uh, you know, but if you're just doing a long haul for fun, especially just using Project Fly, it would certainly be helpful. And um, at the end of the day, it's just insurance. You know, if you're doing, because I know, for example, Fly Virtual have tours where, you know, there's the, the first flight of the, the Dreamliner tour, for example, is 17 hours. So if you're doing a 17 hour flight and then the sim crashes 15 hours into it or you you completely mess up the approach, then um, you know that's that's really annoying. You, that's the whole flight gone, and you might have to do that whole thing again. If you've got an auto save, you can just carry on from that and uh, and do it again from from that point in the flight. So that sim saver obviously works for FSX, works for P3D. Um, you'll get two versions with it. It's completely free. Um, there is a a, a paid um, piece of software called FSUIPC that you can get the registered version that can also do this but I don't see there's any reason to get that uh, when this sim saver can do that for you so uh, yeah all seems to be to be working well I've tried it and like I say it'll load everything seamlessly right I hope you've enjoyed the video I hope it's been informative I'll leave a link to sim saver down in the uh, description their website so you can go and grab it and uh, I hope it's a useful tool
Sources window list check. Ah, now we just have to list. work out how to stop window. this. Window. See trend. Up. Control window. Start streaming check. Stop recording check. Stop recording check. Stop recording. Right there. Thank you very much for listening.